Okay, if you own a corral style sea trap that you're catching wild hogs with, or you intend to build one, watch this video. All right, got a little hack on there, not mine. Daryl the Hogman's hack that is a game changer with the corral sea style. Let's go check it out. Alright, here is the sea trap. Alright, here we have your standard corral trap and we have caught many hogs in it. But every now and then you get something that's so good you just got to share it. And I had to ask the man's permission because Daryl calls it proprietary information and it is. But triggered. No, I'm not talking about this Gen Z. I'm triggered. It's so hot. I'm triggered. Somebody used wrong language. I'm triggered. No, I'm talking about triggers that work. Triggers that catch hogs. All right, here we go. This is what Daryl did that is the game changer. Right here in the gate, we got a piece of PVC pipe. On the end of this PVC pipe, Daryl has drilled a hole and run paracord. All right, so you got it on the end that's away from this paracord. He runs a strip of paracord off it. Hope the camera's picking up the paracord. A strip of paracord off it. This paracord goes over to the back one third of the trap. All right, on the back third of the trap, and I really hope the camera picks this up, I'll try to zoom for you I'd across this back. All right, about a fifth of this pin has a piece of paracord run across the back fifth. The other piece of paracord runs back to our trigger. All right, what that does, now, that was a stroke of genius because you put your bait right behind this paracord. I'm gonna try to get my shadow off. You put your bait right behind this paracord. See, there's our corn right there. Good old sour mash, you got the slop recipe. You even got this pin build. And we got a German short hair who I hope is going to demonstrate how this trigger works. But, as a hog comes in, he makes his way around the edge of the pin, he smells the bait, he comes to the bait, and what does he run into? The paracord. The paracord then trips the trigger. Hog locked up. I can't afford a pig brig. Just don't have the money. All right. But I can halfway build this corral trap. I can do that. And with this trigger system, I'm going to do what we need to be doing. Instead of catching one or two, I'm going to catch three, four, five, because the door stays open until somebody trips the trigger. And this is big enough, you can get five, six, seven hogs in at a time. That's the brilliance of the trigger. We got our involuntary volunteer, Mr. Buster, in the trap. It's hot, Buster doesn't really feel like working. But here's how this works. Hog comes over. Hog wants bait. All right, as soon as this trip wire gets tripped, all right, see the stick busters refuse to run into the wire. They bump it, trapped hog. Trigger down, hog in trap, boom. We've caught ourselves a hog. Or a pair stealing German short hair buster. Thank you, sir, for your help. I thought that trigger was a stroke of genius. Now, here's another stroke of genius. When you have these traps like this, like a corral trap, if it is a large hog, he can push that wire out the gate, like where Buster's at now. To avoid that happening, 
Daryl made what's called, what he calls a gate lock. You take a T-post, you weld these bolts onto the side to make a hook. He's got one, two, three hooks. All right, let's check it from the inside. Okay, once that gate locks, look what these trigger, these, this gate lock does. Boom. That's not going anywhere. I don't care how big the hog is, he's not going to push past because it's hooking on your cattle panel. Alright y'all, hope that helps. If you built a sea style trap, put a trigger, put a gate lock, you won't regret it. Buster and I say so long, see you next week on the Whitetail Cartel. Thank the good Lord for making this beautiful creation that we can get out and enjoy ourselves in. Now, I don't know about you, I want to kill a 12-pointer. Sure I do. But at this point, I kind of like just doing the habitat management and getting rid of things like hogs. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Buster. Tomatoes needed it. Buster, you better not get that pair. You bring me that pair. Buster, bring me that pair. You bet I bring that, you aggravating rascal. Bring me that pair. Squirrels love them. Deer loves them. Turns out this crazy German short hair.